Hey, peeps! I think we're gonna go check out a new store. So, we've driven past it for years. We didn't know what was there. So today, we're gonna go see what's in that store. Curiosity, how's that go? Curiosity gets the cat? Kills the cat. Curiosity kills the cat. Yeah, so it's killing us. It's killing us that there's a store that we haven't been inside of yet in the woodlands. So we're gonna go check it out and we're gonna see what's in that store and see if it's something I would go to again or not. Or I don't know, we, don't, we, don't, we have no idea what's in the store. Kids clothes, adult clothes, junk store, I don't know. Music store, for the longest time I thought maybe it was a music store, I don't know. So let's, let's just jump in the car and go see. Looks like it's a sporting store. Okay, we gotta go around. See? Yeah. Can't go anywhere with my mother. We're supposed to go one spot. Now we're gonna stop you here. You wanted to know what's inside a tire, <laughs> so let's go find out real All right, fast. Hey, let me get out here. It's a cute little store from the outside. So, I like the sign. Colorful. You think? I don't know either. Bum bum bum. Oh Lord. Y'all, this place has everything. Had me in your possession Had you swimming inside my affection But with you I came second So I cut off the connection So guys, we are back from Tyler's. And before I show you what I purchased at Tyler's, I'm gonna give you a little update on Fashion Woodlands. So it is down to the two week mark. So they are now here and they are going to be putting together the runway over the grass leading to the tent. And then next week they're gonna come and start the runway that goes across the top of the pool. So I want to show you some of their work on how they're putting this runway together. 
and build it over the grass. So here we go. And look who we got back. We got the guys here working. They are building the first runway. So this is the one that's going to go across the lawn. So they're back here building it and then probably gonna haul all of this over there and put it together. So this is going to be that runway. How exciting. Go Edson, go, go Edson, go. <laughs> It's not going to set on this. No. It's going to be elevated. Some legs. So I'm just saying people can walk on the runway to get to their seats. Correct. No, it's not going to be centered here, but it's no. going to be centered here. Right. That's what we have to be. No. I know. I mean, like the hot tub's just not centered. That's fine. I don't no. care. It's just going to go across. Right. Okay. But it has to be centered here because of the gate. Right. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to have to lay all of them right yeah. now yeah. and put the legs so we yeah. can level. Yeah. And then put the take you know, Right. 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 And when we tear this apart this year, we're going to save all of it. Last year when they tore the runway apart. You're like extra big on my screen because <laughs> I'm zoomed in. But I'm just saying, last year when we tore the runway apart over the pool, they used a lot of that wood when they were doing stuff building out your house. Mm -hmm. But this year when we tear the runway apart, all of this is going to be saved so we have it for the next year. See how it's not level down there? That's why they're going to have to put legs on it. Right. Yeah, I see it. They have to be able to make it level. Runway is five feet. So if, we, so if we take five feet away from the width of the pool, then we're going to know how much feet on each side. Is that tight? So, if you take five feet away from that, five feet away from 19.8, where's five feet? There's going to be 14, 14, eight, 14 feet, uh, eight. Okay, so half of 14.8, seven, four. So we're going to have seven foot four inches of pool space on each side of the runway then, right? Yes. So seven, seven foot and four inches. Right. Yeah. To the runway that is going to be in the pool. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 
ahí estamos a siguiente So anyway, we got seven foot four inches from the edge of the pool out to the runway. Right. Okay. Same in. Because that this runway has to meet that runway. Right. So this runway has to go another seven foot four inches to run into that runway. Minus one. This is a triple XL. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I have an XL, a double XL, and a triple XL. And then I still have one left over from last year. Right. So, right. and these stretch, you know, they're. Right. I don't know if we can fit Edson in I, I one. Hopefully, I can fit on that one. It's a triple XL? I don't think you're a triple XL. No, I don't think so. I know it's not yet. To... You better never get triple. <laughs> you won't ever be able to find your manhood. <laughs> You'd be like, I know it's down there somewhere. <laughs> somewhere. I just can't find it. <laughs> can't see it anymore. Oh my belly's too big. Goodness. That turned real quick. I don't know how to get that off. It's Velcro. I know, but I can't get it off. Oh, you this side. Oh. <laughs> Duh. Mom, step into it. I got clothes on. That's fine. <laughs> I got clothes on. I got big clothes on. Like, look how big these jeans are. <laughs> but I have clothes on. Yeah. You're supposed to get on it in it naked. And it stretches. And it really stretches. <laughs> if I was naked, it would be really big on me. But look how big these jeans are. <laughs> I need to go see what size that other one is that we have left oh, okay, over from last year. Anyways, because they have to get in the water to do this runway, I got them wetsuits because the water's a little chilly this year. Okay guys, so much for the runway. I've given you that update. And so now let's get into the closet so you can see what I purchased at Tyler's. Yay, I'm ready for winter. I'm ready for snow. <laughs> Not in Texas. <laughs> oh, anyways, I fell in love with this color. I have a black jacket that is very similar to this. It might fit a little bit tighter but it's this lightweight. And I love these lightweight jackets because they're easy to wear. They're not super hot. They're easy to travel with. So like, say I'm leaving here and it's 80 degrees, but I'm gonna end up in New York and it's only 40 some degrees in New York. This is one of those really thin jackets that I can pack 
in my carry-on or carry or just pack. And it doesn't take up a lot of room because you know sometimes when you travel, you're limited on space in your suitcase. And sometimes those big, big jackets take up way too much space and they make your suitcase way too heavy. So a lot of times when I travel to New York, I have to actually carry my coat on the plane with me because I don't trust it to be packed in the check bag and it takes up too much space in my carry-on bag, so I end up carrying the darn thing. So that's why I had to buy this. Did I spend too much for it? Probably. I have paid for this name right here, okay? So sometimes it's funny because the black jacket that's very similar to this, I think I got those dirt cheap for me and Tashina one year. Well, they're Columbia. Are they so they were probably at least oh, so. in the hundreds. But anyways, for some reason, I thought I walked out of Tyler's and paid 130 <laughs> for this jacket. It wasn't until I got home, Lo and behold, and Carolina was helping me take the tags off, and she's like, oh, Miss Vanessa, you spent $230 for this jacket? And I'm like, no, I did not. She's like, here's the, here's the tag. I said 230. I'm like, oh my God. Yeah. It's super cute I mean, though. It is cute. I mean, like, it is cute. I don't know if it's cute with these baggy jeans. But and your flip-flops. And my flip-flops. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, I just love this jacket. It's very, very super thin. I highly recommend these super, super thin jackets. And I like the inside pocket where you can like... Yeah, our black one doesn't have an inside pocket. I know, but this is what's so cool. So like, like when you're in New York and you don't want to carry a purse on the street, you can literally put your ID and your money and everything inside the pocket and it's inside. So somebody can even try to pickpocket you and they're not gonna get nothing because it's right here. So that's what I love about this jacket is that it's got an inside pocket. Love it, love it, love it. I was trying to see, oh, didn't know that. Look, Since look. Around here. Oh, that's look, cute. Look, look, I can actually make it to where it's tighter at the bottom. So it's not so baggy. Uh-huh. Didn't know that. Hmm. But I don't know if I like it that way. But anyways, it, it does, it, it, get, it gets smaller at the bottom. So that's good to know too. I didn't know that. <laughs> okay, finding out. Okay. Even though you tried it on at the store. I tried it on at the store. I did not pay attention to all the cool things about it apparently. So anyways, so I got this. So now let me show you the other cute thing I got. And now I'm not a big sweat pants, sweat, shirt, person like Tashina, like Tashina, every time we go to a store, she always has to get a sweatshirt. I'm like, you only have 5,000 sweatshirts and I never even see you wear all 5,000. It's not just a sweatshirt. Like I, wore, I just wore it the other day and it's not technically called a sweatshirt. It's just- All I know is she always- Oh my God. She always goes to the sweatshirts and always has to, I don't care if you're in Walmart, she goes to <laughs> find a sweatshirt. I'm like, how many sweatshirts can a person wear? I, I can't wear that many, and I just, sweatshirts, it has to be super cold. I think because you live in Wyoming is the reason why, because you probably wore them all the time. But now in Texas, I will watch you this winter. I bet you only wear a couple sweatshirts the whole winter. Okay, let's make a bet. Let's see how many purses you can go through and well, see how many sweatshirts I can that, go through. I will wear a different purse every day. <laughs> <laughs> so, let me go get this sweatsuit on. So. Pretty comfy. Put it with my Oak boots. Cause I'm thinking, you know, dead in the winter in Texas, it might be 30 or 40 degrees outside. And I don't like that. I don't like cold. So I'm thinking I'll have my Oak boots on to keep my feet warm. Cause as long as my feet are warm, I'm warm. So I'd probably put the Oak boots with it. Cause it kind of goes, cause it's got some brown in it. Um, or I'd put some tennis shoes with it. but. Basically, this is kind of how I'd wear it for the winter. So, this wasn't bad priced. Like, I'm thinking, what was the price on this? 54 for the pants. And I think the jacket, 74. And it's rip curl. Rip curl. Mm -hmm. So, so. Is that the same brand that? My sweatshirt was? I thought yours was Billabong or whatever. 
I don't know. I'd have I to go know. look. Anyways, I think that's a cute store. I, I think I'm going to go back and spend some time there and actually get some more stuff because other than my $230 jacket, <laughs> I think the rest of the stuff is reasonably priced, not overly priced. And it's just kind of like, kind of cute, you know? So I would give this store a thumbs up. So if you're in the Woodlands area, cute store. I don't even know, are they, They yeah, they must be a, a chain because he said, if you find something and we don't have your size, I can bring it in from another location. So Tyler must be a chain store, although I've never seen it before. So, but he said, because we were talking about the, the twins and their golf clothes and everything, and he said, if you find something, I might be able to find it and, and bring it in from a different location. So. Comment below if you know of this store and if you have this store in your city, then that way we're gonna know. So anyways, we need to run to Walmart real fast because one of my favorite people at the country club, one of my favorite bartenders is having a baby and I'm not allowed to say what he's having because they haven't done the gender reveal yet and I have been sworn to secrecy, but I need to run there and pick up some baby stuff. So I guess I can't show you the baby stuff because I'm I'm showing you the baby's gender. Oh, I wanted to share that with you. Uh, anyways, that's what kind of person I am. I mean, like he, he, they're having a baby, and so I want to be the first person, maybe maybe the first person, to get them some baby stuff. So I gotta run to Walmart real fast. So, um, anyways, uh, what else was I gonna show them? Oh, the big reveal. So this is possibly, if it fits, the outfit I'm going to be wearing as I meet my guests the night of Fashion Woodlands. And it ain't this. So no? let me jump into it <laughs> real fast. So, what do you think? Sparkly. <laughs> Since it's supposed to be a winter wonderland, I think this is very fitting to be winter wonderland. So it's white, it's sparkly. I think the only thing I have to do is have Maria take and put a couple darts right here so that it makes it, because it's so tight right here, not tight, what do I want to say? I'm so long waisted that it's, it's pulling on the zipper. So she needs to just put a couple little darts right here to suck it in next to my butt. What do you think? Super cute. So what shoes did you go with? So I'm going with a nude shoe because it's a nude underlay. So I'm just going with the, the nude protégés. Very comfortable. I can easily stand and talk to people for an hour. So as I do the meet and greet with everyone, these are very comfortable shoes. I don't have a problem with that. But this is not the outfit that I will close the evening out in. So this will be the first hour and then I have to walk in the Jonathan Blake portion of the fashion show. So I have a couple outfits I have to change into then, and then to close out the evening, I will be in a different sparkly outfit. You know, that's, that's what it's all about. Go big or go home. Costume change, costume change, costume change. <laughs> so I'm giving you guys a sneak peek of my beginning of the night outfit. What do you think? Yay. I think it's super cute. Yeah. It's you. very like winter wonderlandy. Yeah. Yeah. It's very super cute. Very good for the show. So anyways, I just wanted to be able to share this with you and give you a little sneak peek. So comment below if you know what you're wearing to the fashion show. I'm telling you what, guys, we have people coming in from California. We have people coming in from Arizona. We just booked another ticket this morning from another person from Arizona. We've got Louisiana coming in. We've got Atlanta, Georgia last night on the uh, Thursday, Thursday. One of our peeps said he's flying in and we did, we did confirm he's already bought tickets. Um, he's coming in from Atlanta, Georgia. We've got North Carolina. We've got all over Texas. Did I say Louisiana? Yes. Um, but I'm just saying, telling you guys, Washington's flying in. We've got people coming from all over the United States coming in for this thing. Tickets are going crazy I know. right now, too. I know. We're just, and, and we just keep going back up to that seating chart and <laughs> moving and rearranging and everything. And it's like, ah, it's funny because you try to get a head start on things and literally it kind of teaches you. You should just leave it alone until the last minute because... 
when you start out early, you keep moving. You keep moving. You keep moving. Yeah, but I like the pressure, though. <laughs> Work under pressure. So, if you have not bought your tickets, we still have a few left. You can go to my website, TracyRomer.com, and click on events and buy your tickets. Um, if you're unable to attend, you're more than welcome to uh, send a donation to the Make-A-Wish Foundation to my address um, at the office. We'll leave that information down below also. Um, so, yeah, I just... The Instagram page? Go to the Instagram page, fashion.woodlands. Um, for any updates to do with fashion woodlands and so on and so forth. So, yeah, this is just, I, I'm, I'm super excited. I, I'm like, now that I have this on, I'm like, okay, okay. I'm almost thinking I need to hem it. It's a little long. Yeah. But if I wear a taller shoe, I just don't, mm. I hate to hem it because if I want to, want the chance to wear a taller shoe, which I do have taller shoes, I him it then I can't wear a taller shoe so I, and I do have taller nude shoes so I might have to play around with the shoe thing but and then I think I'm just gonna wear a really pretty diamond necklace diamond earrings lots of diamonds on the hands and I'll be set haven't figured out the hair yet haven't figured out the hair yet what brand is that uh it's on here is it hanging I think it's hanging where isn't it right there right here yeah it's Nadine Marabi I knew it was Marabi, but I couldn't remember her first name. Nadine Marabi. Nadine Marabi. And she's got such beautiful... No, I don't like the belt. I know. Do you want to show it? Tashina's like, oh, but look how cute the white belt is. I did not say that. I thought it was hideous. <laughs> <laughs> but if you put the belt on, maybe that would suck in that waistline. But I don't know where you have to wear the belt. Is it up high? That's how she had it in the photo, I think. So let's see, let's see if we do the belt, if that helps with the waistline. But see now, doesn't, doesn't the belt, see? <laughs> I'm like, I don't like the belt. <laughs> That's why I didn't want to wear the belt. Like, no. It's like almost now it looks like you're like in the 80s. I know, I don't <laughs> like the belt. So that's why if you wore the belt, maybe that helps suck that in. It does. But I don't like the belt. Okay. So I think I ought to get a hold of Maria and see if she can do a couple darts or whatever. So let's see the box. You can have this ugly belt back. <laughs> <laughs> Sell it on Poshmark. <laughs> so here is the box. Beautiful box. Not sponsored, but should be. But so yeah, cute. she does. And look on the inside. It always has such an amazing message on the inside of the box. You deserve everything beautiful this life has to offer. So cute, so cute. Love it, love it, love it. So anyways, now you got the scoop. Now you see what I'm wearing for Fashion Woodlands to start the evening off. Everybody keeps going, what's the dress attire? Well, here you go. <laughs> come come twin with me. I'm gonna be in work attire. Yeah, yeah, she's gonna be having a Team TR t-shirt on. Yes. Uh -huh. So that's the other thing, when you come, that's the other great thing is everybody that's volunteering that night will have Team TR t-shirts on. So if you need help, you can actually find anybody that's got a black Team TR shirt on. They will help you immensely. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed today's Fashion Friday video. We are gearing up. We're down to the home stretch. I'm so excited. Yep, losing sleep already, but it's fun. It's fun. It's fun. So guys, have a safe weekend. Have a fun weekend. Remember to purchase your tickets if you haven't done so already. And I will see you on Motivational Monday. Bye-bye.